Hey you guys, so I have a quick show and tell video for you all on this spring and summer ready unit. You guys know how I feel about curly wigs and I found another winner. So if you're interested in hearing my thoughts on this video, stay tuned. Before we get started, I want to let you guys know that this wig review is being brought to you by hair2beauty.com. I will link all their information down below in my description box. Be sure to check there. They have wigs, weaves, hair care, makeup items like it's the true legit online beauty supply store. So I want to start off this clip by showing you guys how the parting space looks. It is a skin top part. Now I'm spritzing water on this unit. Spritzing water helps loosen the fibers and it makes it easier for me to manipulate the curl pattern without causing too much frizz. So I'm just going through individually separating the curls. You don't have to separate all of them just until you get the desired amount of fullness that you are looking for. And this is how the unit looks once I separated all the curls nice and full. It does have baby hairs in the back. The cap construction is big head friendly. So I wanted to show you guys how the unit looked plopped on my head before I did any further manipulation. I was trying to cover the lace with the hair and it just wasn't working. So I just ended up body panning some hair to the front and I took my shears and I just lightly, lightly framed my face in the front and on the sides. And this is the style that I came up with with the curls falling in my face. So you guys will have to let me know how you like the way that I styled her. Is it cute? So let me give you guys a 360. Briefly, I want to let you guys know that this cap construction is big head friendly. Once again, it's a skin top part, but this is how the parting is looking. It's not looking too bad. I did go in, as you guys seen in the clip before, and add a couple things in it to just make it mimic my skin tone. One thing that I've noticed about skin top wigs is that pressed powder just does not work alone for me and my deep, you know, melanin infused skin tone. I need like a concealer or some type of foundation and powder to darken the skin top so if you guys don't like skin tops you might want to stay away from this wig but it doesn't bother me and being that it's a curly wig i'm not really focusing on the parting space everything is about these curls yeah so this wig is about mm, stretched it's probably a good 14 to 16 inches but in its curly state, it's a good 10 inches and I am 5'2 as a reference so you guys will know how this unit will fall on you in case you decide to get it. I didn't hardly get any shedding, like maybe a strand or two of shedding so that's good. I'm not getting any tangling as of yet. The luster on this wig is nice. This is the texture. It looks so much more realistic now when you first get it out of the package. The luster is about a medium. Now I would say it's more of a lower luster wig. It's super full so the density is perfect. I just love the way that this wig is styled. I love the curls. It's everything. So if you are interested in checking out this wig, once again, I will leave all of Hair to Beauty's information down below in my description box, as well as a direct link to this wig. So you can go ahead and check it out for yourself. And I will see you guys in my next video. Love you guys so much. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to thumbs up. Mwah. Bye.